Now, page four, the Obama boomerang. It is curious. The mainstream media reports that Barack Obama is back, back on the international stage, pontificating in the margins of U.S. political policy and debate. The fact of the matter is the 44th president never left the stage. He had no intention of leaving, riding off quietly and elegantly into the post-presidential sunset like his successors. Obama's ego is much too immense for that to ever happen. So Obama travels to Milan, Italy to give a speech at the Global Food Innovation Summit, whatever that is, and they pay him a whopping $3 million, $3 million to speak for about an hour and a half. And so what did Obama address? Ostensibly, the future of food, a.k.a. farming, like Obama knows anything about farming. But he does know about himself. And during his speech and discussion, Obama talked about himself 216 times, saying, I, an incredible 168 times. Yes, indeed, Barack Obama is back. However, what's alarming is not how many times Obama talked about himself. After all, that's what pathological narcissists do. What is alarming is what he said. And my guess is that ultimately what is going to happen is, is that everybody's going to have to work a little bit less and we're going to have to spread work more. Stop the tape. Think about what he just said there. He's essentially espousing plank number eight of the Communist Manifesto, equal obligation for work, spreading work around, spreading work evenly? Does this sound like a champion of the United States? Does this sound like a champion of the free markets and rugged American individualism, exceptionalism? Sure doesn't to me. This is absolutely embarrassing. And we can't hope for this man to shut up either. This is only going to get worse. Remember, he's a relatively young 55, 56 years old. Just think well, how much damage Jimmy Carter has done since 1980. Heck of a lot. Imagine what Obama's going to do. <laughs> oh, boy. Roll tape. Uh, but that's going to require a reorganization of the social compact. Um, Stop the tape. Okay, yeah, we have to remember they're clapping like seals uh, because they're in Italy, and Italians only, really, these generations now only know uh, socialism. But he is promoting a government-centric way of life. Nothing about freedom. Nothing about liberty. Nothing about what makes America so great. And that maybe, hey, Italians, maybe you ought to look at what America has done, or at least the way America was, and possibly emulate that for yourselves so you don't have to have all these crazy socialists running your lives and ruining your lives. No, Obama is promoting more. Pedal to the metal, baby. Roll tape. You know, that, that requires that we change our mindset about the link between work, income, uh, the Stop value. There. Yeah, work, income. Basically, what he's saying, and he's pausing there because he wants to be careful about what he's saying, but he's basically advocating redistribution of wealth. And so Joseph Stalin and Karl Marx are looking down on Obama, and they're smiling because this is exactly what they would be promoting, except that Barack Obama is, is wearing a, a fancy suit. It's modern day. It's 2017, and he's doing it behind a smile. And so these people come out, and they actually listen to him, and they actually learn to agree with him as he spreads his globalist, socialist doctrine around the world, not just the United States. This is what Obama has always wanted. He didn't want to just be president of the United States. He wants to be president of the world. So Barack Obama is going to, yes, he's going to weigh in on the 2018 election cycle and the 2020 election cycle, but he's also going to be doing this. He's going to be traveling around the world, spreading his radical ideology like a cancer from country to country not representing the United States in any way, shape, or form, but representing the destruction of the free markets and freedom and liberty and what the United States Constitution stands for. It's absolutely outrageous and atrocious, and there's nothing we can do to stop it. So look for more of this from the former president, more meddling in the U.S. political landscape,
more promoting his radical ideology, more appearances on the world stage, tearing down what God-fearing constitutional Americans are trying to protect. 